Inducted into the hall this year in the tie-down roping category is Fred Whitfield. Fred Whitfield wasn't a traditional kid growing up on a ranch or in a rodeo family. As a young boy, Fred would join his mother when she would go to the neighbor's ranch to work. The neighbor had a small arena for their kids to rope in and Fred would watch. One of the kids took a liking to Fred and helped him start roping. Fred says, even though Roy Moffat was just seven years older than me, he became a father figure. He would take me to junior rodeos and pay my entry fees. If it wasn't for the Moffats and Roy, I would never have had the opportunity to do what has become my life. Fred could have played football and had Earl Campbell or Tony Dorsett as his idols, as many young kids did. But his real idol was Roy Cooper, the world champion calf roper. In 1990, Fred had an opportunity to become the first African-American cowboy to be named Rookie of the Year. And it was very important to him that he succeed. He didn't own a horse. So he would borrow other ropers' horses to rope on. That meant he had to become acquainted with different mounts continuously. It made no difference to Fred. He had his mind set on his goal and was ready to succeed. Fred was named Rookie of the Year in 1990, and the next year topped that off by winning the World Championship in 1991, a very fast climb to the top. He won $150,000 and set a record of 91.7 seconds at the NFR for his 10 performances. He placed in seven of the 10 rounds and won two. 1991 was only the start of Fred's successful years. He went on to win the world championship in 1995, 1996, 1999, 2000, and 2002. A six-time world champion, he also won the coveted all-around cowboy crown in 1999. When Fred Whitfield enters the arena to compete, you often see the spectators rise and push their hands up to the sky. It's a gesture Fred started when he would make a good tie or win a championship round. It's Fred's signature, raise the roof. As a young kid roper in that arena at Roy Moffitt's, Fred felt the sky was always the limit. And as we induct him into the Hall of Fame, Fred Whitfield is well on his way to reaching that height.